Okay, well, he holds one of the highest positions in Texas and is perhaps the only one from the borderland to do so. Texas Secretary of State Rolando Pablo sat down with News Channel 9 for an exclusive interview to talk about how he and Governor Greg Abbott's administration have the city of El Paso as one of their top priorities. NC9 Today's Fair and Franzak reports. I grew up here. I grew up in Juarez, El Paso. I went to Cathedral High School, and then I left. It was a few years ago, Borderplex Alliance asked Rolando Pablos to come back. Uh, we work to bring jobs to El Paso, to bring recognition to both uh, uh, the Mexican and the U.S. And in doing that, Governor Abbott recognized that uh, I could add value to uh, his administration by being Secretary of State. As Secretary of State, Pablo says he's in charge of making sure we have great commerce on both sides of the Texas-Mexico border. Governor Abbott is very interested in ensuring that Texas continues to be the place to be. Pablos is also the chief protocol officer representing Texas all over the world, touting our state's economy as the 10th largest in the world. We need to make sure that our communities have the tools they need to compete against other communities in other countries and other states. Pablo says the Lone Star State also leads in manufacturing and health care. I'm so glad to see here in El Paso that we're really boosting our health care environment, which is uh, uh, what makes a community attractive to investment. Pablo says it's the governor's priority to make sure border towns like El Paso continue to see economic prosperity. The relationship with Mexico is obviously something that we need to continue to strengthen. Uh, and you see it uh, along the border here in El Paso. Despite President Trump's views on trade with Mexico, Pablo says he just returned from Mexico City, where he's continuing the conversation about El Paso and other border towns' relationships with the country. From what I've seen, uh, it's a very upbeat conversation. People understand that uh, this relationship is a very resilient relationship. We've been through ups and downs, and look, we're still... We're still here, we're growing, and we want to make sure that nothing gets in the way of uh, strengthening that relationship. That was Fran Franzak reporting, and Pablo says Governor Greg Abbott already knows that the relationship with Mexico is strong and that Mexico is our state's number one trading partner. Pablo says the administration wants to help that relationship get even stronger. A lot, well, a lot more news.